as we start to tap in to really warm air. Temperatures will be surging through the 70s, if not 80s, into parts of the high plains there, setting the stage for our first day of severe weather for tomorrow. But then as we fast forward to the middle of the week, that cold air dives down into sections into the heart of the country. And uh, Meredith, that's where we get a little bit more worried about the clash of those uh, air masses. Right, and this is why we're giving you days in advance to make sure you're prepared. Now is the time to have your plan in place. And listen closely, if you hear your city mentioned or see it on your screen, you want to have a severe weather plan in place now. Here's that pattern again. Let's break it down and start with Sunday. And this is where we're going to be seeing the biggest threat for severe weather, a green marginal risk. That's the dark green here from Billings to Scotts Bluff. And this goes all the way down into parts of Oklahoma, Texas, and even into New Mexico. And so some of the cities we're talking about here, Amarillo, Texas, Garden City, Kansas, Rapid City, South Dakota, even Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. All of these larger cities are going to have a threat for not just damaging winds and hail, but we also could see a spin-up tornado possible as we get into the afternoon. Here's the timing. This is Sunday at noon, putting this into motion. You can see right along this boundary here is where we are expecting to see the showers and thunderstorms start to form and continue to initiate as we get into the afternoon and evening continuing even into the overnight, maybe in a couple spots of more of the isolated type. A marginal risk is a lower end, but that still means we have a threat for severe weather. And for places like Roswell, New Mexico, 20% chance there for showers and thunderstorms. What we're looking at is Sunday afternoon, but don't be fooled by the warm air and even the sunshine that you could see earlier in the day. That is just going to help fuel more thunderstorms and even the threat of severe weather. Here we are breaking down the high plains. You can see by six o'clock, we start to see those showers and storms move into parts of the Dakotas. And then as we get later in the day, right along this frontal system is where we are watching for those storms to start to fire up. And for places like North Platte, Nebraska, we're looking Sunday and even into Monday afternoon. The best chance will be for severe weather during these times. High temperatures 80 to 85 and your chance of thunderstorms going to be between 20 to 30 percent. That is a look at what we call our day one. And now with more on that day two, we're going to check back with Steve Glacier. Yeah, thanks so much, Meredith. Great breakdown there. That's uh, severe weather. It actually rises a category on Monday up to slight risk yellow area. That's kind of right in the middle ground here of our severity index that we use with the Storm Prediction Center, and it changes. It moves up into Minnesota, St. Cloud, Mankato. It also moves the east into Lincoln, Nebraska and Midland, Texas. Some of this may be overnight Sunday into Monday. You see from St. Cloud to Mankato and right in the Twin Cities area, one batch moving through. I do believe some more will pop up through the afternoon closer to Lincoln, Sioux Falls and down to about Garden City into the state of Kansas. So for Lincoln, Nebraska, we are looking at a 20 to 40 percent chance of showers and storms mainly Monday night through Tuesday and strong gusty winds.